Welcome back everyone of the Wesley Hornets Team Builder Dynasty here on NCAA Football 14 as today the Hornets up open up conference play and they have their home debut as they will be taking on the number three ranked Stanford Cardinal. Westlake currently sitting at number 18 on this season as last week they took on number five Ohio State in AT&T Stadium in Dallas, Texas. And while many people expected an Ohio State win, Westlake played very well as with 19 seconds left in the first half, the Hornets had a 24 to nothing lead. And while Ohio State did make a comeback, only losing 42-32, Westlake played their best football game in school history. And one of the biggest reasons for that was Sean Briggs for redshirt freshman safety. Of course, replacing Ash Jakar. Why does Stanford have a thick boy at quarterback? But anyway, Sean Briggs replacing the legend Ash Jakar at safety. Four tackles and a tackle for the loss. May not seem like a big deal, right? But he also had a kick return touchdown and three receptions for 43 yards in both of Champ Britton's passing touchdowns. He was phenomenal as Champ Britton and Quentin Campbell on his Westlake captains this season. Stanford chooses, I think, Tails, because Tails never fails. They do win the coin toss and like to kick off. For reference, Stanford actually chose Heads, not Tails. And they have the ball after an early Westlake three and out. First down for the Cardinal handoff for Bryant. And he's stuffed up like Thanksgiving turkey. Another of Westlake defenders there, but it'll be Alex Coker credited with the tackle of a redshirt sophomore. Westlake is known for starting off slow in the regular season. As the past two seasons, they started off 0-2, and, and many people thought they would again with facing two top five teams, but they already beat Ohio State and will try to beat Stanford this week as Antoine Palmer gains 25 before being wrapped up by Sean Briggs. This season is sort of a transition period for Stanford as they are no longer led by legendary quarterback Davis Mills. Their new quarterback goes by the name of Joe Brown. Most generic name ever. Second down and eight for the Cardinal at the 24. It's going to be a handoff for Anderson. QJ Casimir and Isaac Solomon both there. Solomon is credited with the tackle as Anthony Anderson doesn't gain anything. Stanford was able to kick a field goal. They lead it 3 0. Westlake has the football coming off a three and out on their first drive. The sophomore Sandy Fishing in motion as it's going to be a handoff for the reigning Heisman Trophy winner. Alex Ellis, who gets clobbered for a loss of one. Definitely not the start Westlake's offense was hoping for. Valley of one first down. Champ Britton is 0 for 4 so far in the passing game. It's on third down and three. Handoff for Ronald Brandt. And he is stopped from behind. That's going to be a Gobo and Echo Jr. of a sophomore with the tackle. Fourth down and inches. Stanford is going to go for it. Handoff for Brandt. And he is stopped short. And Echo, Briggs, Casimir all there to make the play. It was awfully close, but they're going to say no. Huge stop right there by the Westlake defense as their offense has it back. Very slow start for the offense. Is on second down and seven. Handoff for Alex Ellis, and he's going to lose some more yards. That's going to be a loss of three. Tackle by Mark Vinson. That will likely end the quarter. First quarter in the books. Stanford leads it 3 nothing. It's third down and nine for Westlake. Britton all alone in the backfield. It's Champ Britton. He will look up the middle for the speedy Everett Lemieux, who gains 19. Second down and two for the Hornets. His fair offense is starting to show life after the end of a quarter. As in motion will be the redshirt junior Michael Wilson. He now enters the backfield. Britain. He's going to toss it. Bad idea. As that will be ruled a fumble and recovered by Harper. Very poor awareness on that play by senior quarterback champ Britain. It's now third and two. For Stanford, can Wesley get another stop? Handoff is for Brandt, and he only gains maybe a yard as Coker, McNamara, and a few other defenders are there. Westlake's offense started to show signs of light on their previous drive, however, it was all for nothing from an Alex Ellis fumble. Handoff for Jackson, who loses two yards, stuffed up. Like Thanksgiving turkey by Roger Anderson. They're down in 12. Westlake is 1 for 3, 33% on third down. Britton and Ellis in the backfield as it's going to be a play action. Britton, no time to throw it. And the play is read like a book by Tom Vogel. Westlake decided to play it safe and punt it as Stanford is playing two minute drill, but they're running the ball with a minute 25 to go as Brant loses three, Solomon with the tackle. Good starting field position for Westlake due to a nice 27-yard punt return from Sean Briggs. 
Minute six to go. Westlake is down at their last timeout. Is up the middle. It's going to be Everett Lemieux, the speedster. Lemieux down the field will eventually be brought down at around the five yard line. It's been quite the game so far for the sophomore Everett Lemieux, who got over a thousand yards as a freshman. Britton scrambling. Risky throw, but he lands it in the hands of Ayo Ayaluko, the senior. And with 24 seconds left to play, Westlake takes the lead. Or, 24 seconds left to play in the half, excuse me. With not much time left in the half, Stanford is going to try to get some points. It worked last week for Ohio State, even though they still lost. As 10 seconds to go, Brown down the field! It's intercepted by the redshirt senior, Quentin Campbell. His 17th of his career. He's gotten five every year. And he gets his first as a senior. One of the greatest backs and defensive backs in team history. Probably second behind Ash Jakar. First half is in the books. And it's been a very interesting game to say the least. Westlake leads it 7-3 to three, as both offenses have been struggling. Ronald Brandt finds a hole. And Brandt will gain 19 as he's had a very quiet game. 17 for 51. But he gets a big run right it there. It has been a game-long struggle for Ronald Brett. However, that nice run could give him some momentum. This is now first and goal around the three. Westlake sending a heavy blitz as Brandt stiff arms Wesley McNamara and gets the touchdown. And Stanford will regain the lead with 4-11 to play in the third. We have a studio update from our good friends over at EA Sports as the California Golden Bears taking on the BYU Cougars. It looks like Dante Jones has been benched. For Jack Jackson and the BYU Cougars currently losing in a close one, 27-21, despite two touchdowns from Jackson. It could also be that Dante Jones got injured, but who knows. Westlake has one of the best and most explosive offenses in college football. However, today they've gotten off to a very slow start. Let's see if they can rebound it here in half number two as Champ Britton sacked on first down for a loss of nine by Rashad Kenya Jr. Stanford has the lead and they have the football. Let's see if they can take advantage as it's second down and five for the Cardinal. Tight end hacking in motion. He's gonna line out as a wide out. Hand off for Ronald Brandt. Hit hard by Quinton Campbell for a loss of one. Third down and six. This is a pretty big play right here for both sides as Joe Brown has time. He's scrambling a little bit. Finds Palmer who gets by Jeremy Harrington and will gain 14 for a first down. Stanford is very close to the red zone as it's second down and three. Brown fakes the handoff. It's play action. Joe Brown looking deep for his man Antoine Palmer. I don't know why that says user catch, but it doesn't matter as Palmer gets the touchdown and Stanford will make it a two-possession game. Fourth quarter underway. Stanford is looking good. They're up by 10. But don't rule out the Hornets just yet. First down, Champ Britton scrambling like he's late on a date. Running with it, Champ Britton is open room and runs out of bounds at the 45. Westlake needs to be smart about clock management. However, they don't have to worry about that too much since there's still six minutes left. Second down, Britton fumbles it on the option again. But Alex Ellis with a huge recovery that very well could have gone in the hands of one of the Stanford players. Westlake is just one for five on third down today. Let's see if they can convert here. Britain under pressure, sacked for a loss of seven by Roger Anderson. Fourth down and 11. Mike Hadley, the, the true freshman, is in the game as Champ Britain must be banged up. Hadley's first career pass is a conversion here on fourth down to Michael Wilson for 20. Champ Britain is back spasms. He will be fine to return. But we do get to see a pass from Hadley, who likely isn't the team's franchise quarterback, with Peyton Curtis being redshirted, as Ellis loses a yard. Excellent tackle by Tom Vogel, who read the play like a book. Champ Britton's stat line for this game so far is 6 for 14 with 107 yards and a touchdown. Certainly not his best performance, as Britton scrambling. Britton has an open man. That's AOA Aluko, the senior, with his second touchdown of the day. And the Hornets make this game a little bit closer with 4.03 left to go in the fourth. We got ourselves another studio update from our good friends over at EA Sports as the Golden Bears win an amazing game, 34-31, over BYU as that Pac-12 contest went down to the wire. And this Pac-12 contest is also going down to the wire. This play realistically could decide the game. Third down and five, Stanford chewing clock. 
Brown looking to throw it. He has a wide open Ronald Brandt. Nobody miles from him, and he gets 16. A first down realistically could end the game. Play clock is at 3, as it's going to be a handoff for Brandt. Brandt has a first down. Sean Briggs is unable to make the tackle, and he gets the touchdown 35 yards out. And if I was Westlake, I would drive down the field very quickly without using any timeout. We got an EA Sports Studio update. Number one, Florida, taking on number two, Alabama. And the reigning national champions are currently down 7-0 over the Crimson Tide. Westlake needs to drive down the field quickly. 132 left to go. It's third down in 10. Britain looking to throw it. Champ Britain, under pressure, he's sacked. Fourth down and 21. This is the game. Champ Britain fakes the handoff, he's sacked again, losing another 9 yards, and that'll do it. Stanford is not in victory formation as it's third down. Touchdown officially ends this game if it's not already done. Handoff for Brandt, stopped by Chip Barron. Stanford's going to have to kick a field goal. At times, it seems like Westlake had this game at their fingertips, but it wasn't meant to be. Stanford will improve to 3-0, and I want to say. Westlake will go down to 1-1, one one, but wide open down the field is Sandu fishing. Westlake playing for pride most likely, but there still is a slight chance, I the guess. The clock is ticking away. we got about 20 seconds left. It's third and two as Champ Britain. He will find fishing again. First and goal, 15 seconds left. 13 seconds left. Second down and goal. Britain and Ellis and Jackson. In the backfield is Champ Britain scrambling. Britain looking for Michael Wilson, who makes the catch. And Westlake is going to need an onside kick and then a Hail Mary. Eight seconds left. This is it, the onside kick. And it lands right in the hands of Jameel Blue, a custom recruit. That's how this game will end. The Stanford Cardinal win it. That's how your game ends. The Stanford Cardinal win it. 27-21, they improved to 3. And now Westlake goes down to 1-1. One this game was always close, but it was never really intense. But all in all, it was a pretty good game. Westlake's offense certainly struggled. They did not have one of their better performances. Next week, the Hornets take on their rival, the Utah State Aggies. I believe at home. Hey, hey, man.